guys what's up what's up what's up you already know this is your girl queen b anyway guys i'm not staying quick i just want to pop on real quick just say um everybody already know what's going on on social media right now in a disgrace um that you know who continued to bring down upon her own self has nothing to do with me yes we had a big falling out yes i did in anger post some stuff which i've since then removed uh, when this whole thing started with um you know with kingston 13 coming out and say what she had to say um marcia took it upon herself at that point to come out even though um, the lady did try to reach out to her in the beginning to kind of explain to her exactly what went down and you know the type of relationship that she had with um, Kingston 13 but Marcia at the time did not want to hear it she did not take the lady phone call the lady reached out to her a few times she still rejected the call she didn't want to hear anything and instead of sitting down and having a mature and woman-to-woman -woman conversation um, with that lady she decides to take it to her live as usual took it to her live and from there it blew up and got out of control and at this point the lady had nothing or wanted nothing to do with her other than to come out and at least clear up some of the lies that was being told now when the lady reached out to me she said she wants to tell her side of the story she wanted to clear some things up because a lot of lies were being told about her on social media by marcia and had a lot of people um bashing her in comment section marcia ended up having you know a few bloggers to come out and Marcia defense, defaming the woman, cussing the woman, disrespecting the woman. And Marcia, um, if she had some form of loyalty or even some kind of respect for what the woman had done for her and really appreciated it, like she said, she wouldn't have allowed anyone to have done that, right? She would have put a stop to it. She would have came out and said, hey, guys. Whatever is going on is between me and, you know, that lady. I don't want you guys coming out here disrespecting her. I don't want you guys in my comment section disrespecting her. Marcia never did that. She continued to allow them to come out, bash this woman, tell all kind of lies on this woman, saying the woman didn't pay this or the woman didn't pay that or she paid half of it and I paid the other half. And, you know, and all of that was a very upsetting to the lady. Very, very upsetting. OK, so the lady do have a right to bring out receipts and come out and say, hey, no, it, it didn't go down that way. I literally paid for everything. You know what I'm saying? And at this point, I would have came out and did the same thing to Marcia because Marcia didn't give that lady no kind of respect, no kind of, you know, gratitude, you know, to not allow people to come out and bash the lady the way she did. People is failing to understand that people are human beings. They do have feelings. It's not just one person that has feeling or a reputation to protect. There are other people that also have feelings and they do have their own reputation to protect. So you cannot come on social media and just blast the person, tell a whole bunch of lies, and try to twist and turn the story so you can make yourself look good and make the other person look bad. Eventually, that person is going to lash back out too. And when they do, then you want to you want to take offense to it, like it's the like how dare you come back out and defend yourself? How dare you come out and throw out receipts? How dare you come and expose my lies? How dare you? Because you were supposed to be such. A friend. Oh, I thought you were my friend. Oh, you're a backstabber. Oh, you're fake. You're this, you're that. But you're not looking at yourself. The things you have done to that same friend that was good to you. And as many times that people listen closely, 
you talk about the fact that you got on the phone with other so-called friends in the back door or back closet or wherever you want to call it and you chat that woman too. The whole time that woman was thinking you was her friend. You are busy behind her back picking up your phone three-way, four-way, five-way conference call and you were chatting the woman too. So I chat for chat. That was chat for chat. Get over it. And then you want to come on social media every single day and blast this woman and blast me. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? You're angry because you think that I am a small fish. I am a nobody. So how dare that woman come to me to give me an interview? She should have done it with you on your page. How dare you? Who is you? You may call yourself a big deal. And for a very long time, us as your friend, yes, we were your friend. Stop spreading that false narrative like anybody was backstabbing you behind your back prior before all of this took place. No, we did not. We always had your back and you knew it, but you had nobody's back, including mine's. And the amount of things that you came out and spoke about me and disrespecting me in social media and telling me what part of you must go kiss and what part of your blood must go suck. I'm not that type of person and I'm not going to tell you back those same things. But I, what I will tell you is stop perpetrating a lie in social media. It's not going to get you anywhere. Point blank, period. Stop calling up the woman name wrongfully. At the end of the day, she was good to you and she did give you from her heart. All these other big, rich um, sophisticated and high society friends that you claim you have behind closed doors. When you were going through moments, when people were bashing you on social media, when you were calling her crying, when you were calling her with all your, your stress and pain and the things you were going through, I'm sure you said those same exact thing to your so-called associates rich, prominent people behind closed door. And did any of them reach out to you and offer you a trip to, just to get away? Just to get away from social media, which you never did because every vacation you went on, you were still on social media. So it all defeated the purpose of why the lady even spent her money to try to give you a getaway just so you could go relax, just so you could go get pampered, just so you could just have a moment, you know, away from all that stress and everything. Everything. Yes, she did that for you out of the kindness of her heart because she loved you like that. And how dare you now, Marcia Campbell, come out and disrespecting the lady the way you are. I am not defending myself because I don't need defending. Because there's nothing that you could say out of your mouth that could ever hurt me other than what you already said and did and we won't repeat it here but right is right and wrong is wrong Marcia you say you're a big deal and I get it now right because I think the other night I heard you break down the meaning of what big deal is to you so I get it now and I guess any of us could classify ourselves as a big deal. And whatever big deal means to us, it's a personal meaning. So yes, 
you are entitled to call yourself a big deal according to your definition. Now, your definition was uh, a single black woman um, that's standing on her own. I'm not quite sure about the own part, but a single black woman um, that has her business, um, you know, that's taking care of herself. She can't eat good. She can't eat. She can't travel, um, you know, you know, wherever you are able to afford to travel to. Um, so those are your meaning of calling yourself a big deal. So for that, I can't um, take that away from you. But the real, true meaning and definition of big deal, I promise you it would not be you. And it will not be me. And it may not even be um, for that lady. But at the end of the day, Marcia,